So now you've brought a part from EDGECAN into CNC Motion and you want to verify it. There's a couple of errors that the students might get uh, regarding the tool store. It happens in my classroom all the time. So if I go to verify this, and I say verify my program, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it before we go on. Um, it's asking me to insert a tool now. I know that that's the wrong tool, but let's see what happens. Oh, those holes came out a lot smaller than they're supposed to. That means there's an issue with the tool store. There's something wrong with the tools. Something didn't work. So that looks right. And now I get an invalid T code on line N37. So it says a half inch end mill and it says tool 17. Hmm. Let's see what the problems are. Let's see if we can fix this. So looking at my code, I know that tool 00 is incorrect. So I know that tool three, the quarter inch end mill, if I look at my tool library, the quarter inch end mill is tool three. So if I type in tool three and just edit the code right here, and then I say verify, let's verify and see if that fixes that. Yep, there's my quarter inch. I still have that invalid T code on line 37. Let's see if I can fix that. So if I go down to line 37, I see that it says tool 17. Hmm. The other error is that students will forget to set up their library and have tool 17 done correctly. I, I really don't want 17, but this is how you, you fix it. You go into tool 17, you tell it that it's an end mill. We used a half inch end mill and changed the diameter to 0.5 and mine in my classroom has four teeth and it's carbide so i can say apply once i see that tool there i can say okay let's see what happens now that problem solved that one was never a problem and there we go normal program stop we've made it all the way through our part now machine on the mill uh, one other thing that I want to show you real quick is at the end of your program, you'll notice that EdgeCam doesn't know what the safe position for your mill is. So I always have my students go in and put uh, a position, an X, Y, uh, Z position. And I always have them say X for uh, Y 1.5. This is on, a, on my ProLite. So I'm going to tell them that this to be a G00. That wouldn't have worked out so well. And then after it moves, before it moves in the X and the Y, I want it to move up one inch in the Z. So I'm going to say G000 uh, Z1. That way it will take my tool up out of the material by one inch and then move to a safe position so the students won't cut their hands. And then I can delete this right out of there. Um, notice now my numbering is all messed up. I can very easily go to edit, renumber, and choose uh, my increments. I'm just going to make one. I'm going to start at line one. I'm going to renumber my encodes and click the do it button. I click on do it and it will fix so that it's got the actual lines of code right in my program. Now I'm ready to go to the milling machine.